Okay, so today we're going to talk about the overall weight a horse can carry, but before we do anything about putting weight on a horse, um, I said it in our other little video, the most important thing is having correct saddle fit. So we've made these saddles ourselves. You can have a look from behind. See how neatly it fits on his back. He's an odd shape. We've got nice wide clearance at the back here for when he turns, so it doesn't put pressure on his spine. Doesn't impede his shoulder at all. And we can adjust as he changes throughout the year. Okay, so the essential things we need to know before we, uh, we put weight on a horse is how much the horse weighs, how much all of our tack weighs, uh, what condition score the horse is, and then we need to know the circumference of the cannon bone, which is this bone here, um, midway between the, the knee and the fetlock. So this measurement here in inches, the horse's weight in pounds, uh, its condition score, I use the, the one to nine condition scoring method. And if you have a look at this big, beautiful, fluffy boy, he is a five, which is perfect. So we're just having a little bit of trouble filming because um, some people are very needy. Um, yes, aren't you boys? Aren't you? Thin? But it's not healthy, Paige. Smokey, Smokey, <laughs> did you want to do maths, Smokey? You want to help me with the maths? Okay, are you doing the sums? Oh no, don't, don't, please don't look at me. Okay, so we're, um, we're going to work out the equation. Wait. Okay, so I'm just going to work out the equation for how much a horse can ethically carry. Aware that I've got a rip in my pants, that there is a foal attacking the visa, <laughs> and Marengo is, of course, <laughs> looking for more apples. And the horses have already licked our uh, screen. Jeez, guys, you, you're not making it easy, are you? You're putting shade on it, Moringa. You have to move. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, most people use the 20% rule for uh, sort of figuring out how much weight a horse can carry. Uh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. It was based uh, on cavalry horses from... Um, the 1800s. Uh, most Western pleasure horses have nothing in common with them. So the rule simply doesn't work and I'll show you why. Um, the four factors we need to take into consideration is the total weight of the rider and their gear. So for me that's 90 kilos. Uh, Marengo's weight which is 475 kilos. Uh, Marengo's condition score which is really important and then the cannon bone thickness. Uh, so I've shown you which part, part of the horse the cannon bone is. So what we need to do is we need to add the weight of the rider and the tack together, which for us is 565 kilos, which in pounds is 1,245 pounds. Now you can do, it, do this equation in metric, but honestly it just works, it comes out better in, in, in imperial. So I switch everything to pounds and inches. So then we do a very simple equation of the total weight of the rider and the, the tack and the horse in pounds divided by eight. The eight being the eight inches for the cannon bone. Now that'll give us a number of 55.6 for Marengo, which we then divide by two. That gives us 77.8. Now this is just a number. This, this has nothing to do with weight or anything like that. This is just the, the, the cannon bone to total weight sort of score thing. I don't know what you'd even call it. Um, so for Marengo, it's 77.8. Now that is, um, it's good. You want 75 is about perfect. Between 75 and 80 is good. Over 80, 85, it's not so bad if it's a well-conditioned horse and it's in regular work, but over 85, you, you, you're too heavy for the horse. Now, for me, 95 kilos is 20% of 475. So by the 20% rule, we're well within the, the limits. Um, Marengo is a very, very capable horse. He can actually carry a lot more than this, but that's another thing entirely. So now let's say Marengo is really fat and he's now a condition score of nine. So Marengo's total weight is no longer 475. He now weighs 525 kilograms. So based on the 20% rule, that means Marengo can carry 105 kilograms now, which he can't. So I still weigh 90 kilos with my tack. So we're up to 1,353 pounds is his total weight. His cannon bone hasn't got any bigger. 
We divide his total weight in pounds by his cannon boat in, in inches, which gives us 169, which puts us up at 84.5. So you can see how this number's changed. Now, if we were going off the 20% rule, Marengo could carry more. Now, given that 80% of people in the UK don't even know their horse is overweight, and they say, oh, I'm a little bit fluffy, oh, my horse is a little bit fluffy, um, you're overloading your horse. Realistically, most horses, it comes in about 15% for, for sort of Western horses. If, it, if your horse is obese, it's less than 10% in some cases. But let's look at a different type of horse, because as we know, not all horses are created equal. Um, we have like the halflingers, the um, cabradins, uh, Arabians, um, Mongol horses, fjord horses. The fjords and the Mongols, I mean, they're ponies that, that are designed to carry people. People have been riding them forever. As a result, they have very thick cannon bones compared to their body size. So let's look at my, my favorite Mongol horse, Digger. Now Digger weighs 330 kilograms. So 20% of that is 66 kilograms. So I'm grossly overloading him putting 90 kilos on him. But he, um, Digger's got uh, an eight inch cannon bone. So if we put 330 plus 90, put that into pounds, we're looking at 930 pounds divided by eight, because he's got the eight inch cannon bone, gives us 115, divided by two gives us 57.75. Now I've seen these little Mongolian horses riding with Mongolian power lifters. I don't know how many Mongolians you've met, but dude, they are ripped. My mates, both of them weighed 110 kilograms each. So little 330 kilogram ponies, uh, we were doing two week rides wolf hunting. We were doing anything up to 12, 14 hours a day in the saddle. 110 kilos plus a backpack plus a rifle plus gear these horses were easily carrying 130 140 kilograms so it just goes to show that the 20 percent rule doesn't apply anymore now there's been some great studies done on this uh, german one which i used a lot um, in the writing of the cavalry manual as well as the tevis cup study the tevis cup study showed that horses with a condition score of four and a half to five that did the 100 mile race with riders as heavy as 30% of their race, not only passed every single vet check, but placed. So with the right conditioning, the right breeding, the right kind of horse, you can carry a lot more than 20%. But if you're using a big draft horse or something like that, particularly if it's overweight, just because it weighs 900 kilos, doesn't mean it can carry 180. Quite the opposite. That's a horse that's made to pull rather than carry weight. So if you use this equation, I find it to be the most ethical way of determining how much weight your horse can carry. And I think I absolutely nailed that. I got that out <laughs> without messing that up at all. You better have filmed that good, Lou. Okay, so the 21st Century Cavalry Manual. Um, this is the book Louisa and I wrote after some 9,000 kilometers in the saddle. Uh, we put all of this stuff that we learned down there. We cite the scientific uh, studies. Uh, we talk about different breeds of horses and a whole bunch of other stuff. But if you would like uh, a bit more on how much a horse can ethically carry, these are available on Amazon. Just search the 21st Century Cavalry Manual by Pete Bridal on your country-specific Amazon site. I'm actually pretty proud of that book. It's a good read. Sorry. <laughs> It's, it's pretty much impossible to film because the boys are so curious and then there's the laxal foley. <laughs> see, see this, is, this, is, this is why we can't film with the horses. <laughs> see, just, oh, okay, just lick it all off. Okay, there you go, Smokey. 